Yes, thank you, Rebecca. That's an excellent question. What about Romans 13, which many pulpits in our land preach a unbiblical view of Romans 13? It's basically this. Whatever the government says is right. Whatever the government does is right. Just obey the government. Don't you dare rebel against the government because if you do, you're the one that God's going to punish. That's a false interpretation of Romans 13. It's very easy to prove it's false. Three times in Romans 13, in a series of about three verses, the civil magistrate is referred to as a minister of God. A minister of God. And I dare say most politicians in America today don't believe that they're ministers of God. They've never been told that. They've never heard it from a pulpit. They've never heard it from a fellow citizen. But they ought to. Because what does a minister of God do? He follows God's law himself, first of all. And in every action he takes, in his position of authority, he also follows God's law. He obeys God's law, and he sees that God's law is adhered to in terms of the jurisdictional areas that he has responsibility for. So, if that theory that's commonly preached that do whatever the government tells you to do is true, what would you do if you were in Nazi Germany? And you're told, you know, throw these people in the oven. You're going to do it? And they did it. And the Nuremberg trials pointed out, wait a minute, just because you were given an order and just because that order was on the books as law does not make what you did legal. You violated the laws. Of, they didn't use this. They should have in Nuremberg. You violated the laws of nature and nature's God and God will hold you accountable for it. Just because you were commanded to do something doesn't mean you're supposed to do it. It's only if it's in accordance with God's law. And so we ought to be telling, and I try to talk to politicians when I can if they'll listen to me, and oftentimes they don't want to hear me because I could tell them, look, you're going to stand in judgment day before God because you were supposed to be a minister of God. And instead of ministering God's law, you're ministering something other than God's law. You're going to be held in judgment for that. And by the way, if you're not a minister of God, what's the other option? You're a minister of hmm, the devil. Yeah, okay. You got a minister of God or a minister of Satan. So if a minister of Satan shows up and tells you to murder this unborn baby, uh, should you obey the minister of Satan? <laughs> no. Therefore, most of the people who are in positions of power, they don't qualify for the job they hold according to Romans 13 because they're ministering Satan's law. Murder the unborn, steal the property of people, and so on. Instead of administering God's law, which is what they're supposed to do. And again, Chuck Baldwin's materials on Romans 13, both uh, video sermons on video as well as uh, uh, the book that he has published are excellent resources because you're right, most pulpits in America have preached a false interpretation of Romans 13. And the thing to me that's so amazing is it's as plain as ink there. Minister of God, three times it's repeated. How could they miss it? Well, uh, for whatever reason that they have. Yes. 